So this is all about continuing our focus on guns, gunmen, and gangs. And it was important, and we saw as part of our strategic focus and strategies that we had developed and planning that we had done, that we required an agile joint force that could deal with the levels of violence that we see here in Jamaica. It is not bound by uh, any particular geographic space, but will move fluidly across the country to interrupt gang activities, to disrupt and deter those, to recover uh, firearms or seize firearms, and also to focus on those people who are intent on creating death, mayhem, and pain in our society. What's up my viewers, subscribers, welcome back to the channel. So right now my viewers, I'm so quick and fast, let us get into it. I want to know if you like the one I do my viewers, send that upload that to our own. 1 million likes we say right now, quick and fast. Secret phone recordings of alleged gangsters cleared. Materials to be played in open court at ongoing trial. Chief Justice Brian Sykes has ruled that the secret cell phone recordings between alleged members of the One Dan faction of the Klansman gang will be used as evidence in the ongoing gang trial, ending a major victory to prosecution. Sykes also ruled on Monday that the phone recordings will be played in an open court at the trial of the gangsters, including reputed leader Andre Blackman Bryan. The recordings were allegedly made by a former gangster turned state witness using recording software which he downloaded on three cell phones a black Alcatel, a black Vanio YXY10Z, and a grey Samsung. Last Thursday, prosecutors submitted that the street kit recordings met the Standards of Evidence Amendment Act. Sykes had ordered the prosecution to make submission on whether the recordings met the criteria under the Act. This was after he pointed out that the secret that the Section 31G of the Act states that before computer-generated recordings can be admitted into evidence, the Crown must establish that the computer was in good working condition when the recordings were being generated. A cybercrime incident response specialist testified that he was unable to confirm whether the software that was used to record the conversation was malfunctioning, malfunctioning, malfunctioning at the time. However, the prosecution argued that a witness before the court, the former gangster, was able to download the application, the application and record the conversation. Additionally, another witness, the cybercrime specialist, accessed the recordings multiple times on the phones without them crashing. These de developments, prosecutors said, indicated that the mobile device was functioned properly in making his ruling on Monday afternoon. Sykes said he ex extensively reviewed several cases over the weekend to come to the conclusion on the matter. He said there was no evidence presented so far to suggest that the cell phones that were used to record the alleged conversation of the purported gangsters were malfunction. This he said made the recordings admissionable under the Evidence Amendment Act. Further, Sykes ruled that the evidence from the ex-gangster who download the software to make the recording is sufficient to meet the required standard under the Legislation Act. 
The judge, however, urged prosecutors to ensure that the audio qualities of the recordings are clear for them to be played in the court. In responding to the submission of the prosecution last week, lawyer Lloyd McFarlane, who is representing Brian, suggested that the prosecutors had failed in their efforts to show that all the time the evidence and the device that were used to produce the analysis, the audio, data, were functional. Similar position were held by other defense lawyers. Several of the accused persons were cleared clearly peeved at the ruling by Sykes and hiss their teeth in discreet disagreement. Brian, along with the 31 other men and one woman are being tried in the home circuit court under the criminal justice suspension. The men and the woman have been charged with multiple offenses including being a part of a criminal organization, illegal possession of a firearm, illegal possession of ammunition, facilitated and conspiracy. The offence were allegedly committed between January 1, 2015 and June 30, 2019 in St. Catherine. This and more will be coming on a later date. Some of you has continued to like, share and subscribe. Leave your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. Until another one, we say live good, walk good, be safe. Member JNN News Family. Bless up.